Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Two Canoe Software, and I want to show you a neat little tool that I created called Curtain Mode. What it allows you to do is turn on Curtain Mode using regular VNC that's built into macOS instead of using Apple Remote Desktop um, to be able to uh, be able to run Curtain Mode. For those that don't know, Curtain Mode is the ability to, um, when you're remoting in and screen sharing to remote Mac, when you turn on Curtain Mode, somebody that's local, that's in front of the machine that you're controlling, um, won't be able to see what you're doing on the screen. It basically puts a big lock in front of it, and the screen sharing session still works. The person remotely can still control and do things on the screen, but they're locked out. The person locally is locked out from seeing what you're doing. Um, so it's called curtain mode. So let me give you a demo of how this works. So um, I have this uh, local machine here, and then I have a remote machine that's sitting right next to it here that is currently logged in. And I'll just do a VNC session over to it. So I will do like normal, go to go, connect to server, and the host name is OK, so it's OK.local, and I'll click on connect. Now I'm screen sharing this, and you can see that if I do, um, if I do some activity, if I open up a Finder window, you can see that I can see that activity that's happening. Uh, you can see that I can see that activity that's happening on this screen. So um, if I go to this little menu, status menu item, and select lock, it'll prompt me. Do you sure you want to do this? And you just uh, click lock and you can see the machine went to lock mode but I'm still able to control this so it's really nice right so you'd be able to do that when you're done you just select unlock and then it'll unlock the screen so that worked really well to be able to um, when you're doing some activities um, I also included a command line utility um, called uh, curtains and so if you go into uh, the application which is applications make this a little bit bigger applications curtain mode contents mac os and it's called uh curtains if i just run it uh oh, if i just run it you'll get it'll give me usage and then i can go ahead and say on and i'll I can put a message like uh doing uh um scripts okay so now i'll show you what happens when i hit return so if I hit return, you can see that um, my screen is now doing it, but now I'll, uh, I have doing scripts printed on there. And if I go and I turn off the on, we'll go to off, you can see that it goes back to the regular screen so I can be able to share it. So um, you can script this. So I have a little script in uh, user shared called script.sh and let me just print it out and what it does it says echoing starting high starting to hide the starting the script up and hiding the screen so it runs that uh, curtains command sleep for 10 seconds and then turns the screen back on so if you're doing something there some maintenance that you wanted to lock the machine so somebody's not working um, so it doesn't just lock the viewing of it but this the mouse and the keyboard no longer work as well so let me go ahead and actually run that script and you'll actually see what it looks like so here, I'll press return. It says script starting, hiding screen. You can see it's locked, but the local or the remote session still work and the local one's locked. And it says secret script running. And there we go, it, it finished and it turned the screen back on. So you can use it both for manually doing uh, screen mode or uh, curtain mode, um, as well as doing it via script. Um, so I've uploaded um, a copy of this. It should work going back a ways. Oh, I did want to mention that this is all based on a um, thing I found from Fran Rogers. Uh, it's called Curtains. Uh, it's on GitHub. Um, that was an awesome find. She had done it in 2015. And I used that, put a, uh, um, a GUI wrapper around it and uh, packaged it up, notarized it. Um, so you can go to our website. Um, or actually I put it up on a bits bucket site. So if you go to Bitbucket, um, and I'll put a link below in the uh, comments or in the description so you can see uh, exactly where to go to download and start using it. Um, I also, there's issues there turned on. So if you have, uh, want to post any feedback or any features, let me know. But uh, I thought this would be a great tool for folks to have to be able to lock the screen while you're uh, not using uh, Apple Remote Desktop, but while you're just using regular VNC or any screen sharing for that matter.
So thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check back for more.